So there's a, uh, a gyroscope and accelerometer built into the actual wrist right. uh, band. Into the device. And, and then there's a sensor. Is that what we're saying over there? What it is is there's LEDs on the underside yeah. of, uh, or on the underside here. They project. There's 16 of them. They project off the fingertip, uh -huh. and they determine its location, and based on the reflectance, how far it's turned. Okay. And that's what enables it to sense yeah. each individual finger or the whole hand and the thumb and also rotation yeah. up and down and acceleration. And that communicates with the box over there? It does. Uh, the, the, the new one. prototype uh, <laughs> is actually <laughs> Bluetooth based. Here's a reduced uh, okay. this, uh, wrist case. Yeah. Be Bluetooth. Right. Yeah, it can be Bluetooth enabled, radio frequency enabled. And basically, if we can get the ASIC and the LED size down, yeah. the opportunity is to actually get it into the wristband of a watch or some kind of a device. I, I keep envisioning waking up in the morning just like you put your watch on. It just happens to have, instead of a buckle, it would have a, ver a miniaturized version of this yeah. as part of it. Maybe a display technology is connected with it. And where do you go from there? So, so, so the older version is that on the market now? Is that is that? No, no, uh, no okay. this is still in prototype I stage. See. We're actually working with software and hardware yeah. companies to license it, uh, and finding the right games, the right CE manufacturers. Uh, we see those as some of the top markets. Uh, you know, look at what uh, Guitar Hero has done yeah. with their little franchise. Take that into the 3D world, and the potential is huge. You know, it's a 60 billion dollar game market in the United States. Uh, devices are about 10 to 14 percent of that be happy with a few percentage points of that, or half of it, or all of it, because it is a disruptive technology that enables us to, uh, to break the mold. I mean, you look at what some of our major uh, manufacturers have been doing down at E3, mm -hmm. it's not as sophisticated as what you yeah. see right here. Try to play a game with five people all in the same yeah. room, or I'm playing a game and you stand up in front of me. Uh, there's a lot of limitations to some of the technology that's out there today. With this remote on my wrist, I can do it all from any position and have a tremendous level of control.